Uber ride said it was only gonna be 20 minutes, but actually worked out to be like half an hour. Now I'm waiting at the top here to get my ticket to get in. It's a long line. Now there's a second line you need to wait in. I'm trying to resist the urge to go my normal pace because my body's not acclimatized yet and in doing so I'd be sucking back oxygen which is not quite the level I'm used to right now after seven days in the Galapagos sea level that is Hey look, horsies. All right, if you did want to hike the volcano head, which is back there, and you're really gassed on your first initial effort here, off the chairlift, you can rent these horses. I think it works out to about 15 or 20 bucks to take a horse on up there. Saves you slogging by your own feet. when you're holding a camera on that thing, but kind of cool. I'm gonna hike that switch back. Definitely short of breath. I should take the steps up and switch back. Oh, I'm like halfway there. It really sucks because this thing is so close to downtown, you figure you could just kill it in one day like the day you get here. But having to acclimatize is really a bummer. Especially if you come from parts of North America near the coast or sea level, close to sea level like we are in Toronto. take it super slow. You do get really lightheaded as you try and suck back oxygen. Oh god, look at these troopers. I wish I lived in a high altitude place so I could do those as my run. You could cover so much distance back at sea level. Okay, I promise myself this, this is where I'd stop. That's it for the teaser of this hike to go all the way up to this tip of the volcano and back. They say it's about five hours, but they recommend you only do it if you've been acclimatized for at least two to three days. <sighs> Obviously, I just landed from the Galapagos yesterday, so I'm used to sea level, not mountain top level. So I'm not gonna do anything stupid and hike that. Plus, the rain's starting to come in. That's a typical thing in the afternoon is the rain clouds start to blow over and you lose the visibility of everything. So if you want to do a cool hike, definitely recommend you come here first thing in the morning. It's a five hour, five hour round trip. Get that done.
All right, all done the chairlift. Tarifo. I think I'm gonna head back into town and start my tourist shopping right now. Trying my hand at cheese trees. They taste like watered down cheesies. Okay, my Uber doesn't have enough money to enter the parking lot, so I'm running down the hill to meet him at the entry gate. Okay. Almost there. Finally, Bandito Brewing. Let's have some beer. Bandito Brewery. Three beers, nine dollars. Three bucks a beer for happy hour. Definitely recommend that place. Pretty good selection of beers. Good vibe too. After about 5.30, things start to get busy. Pretty good. 